beautiful strangers and welcome to Cat React. I'm Cat and I react to pretty much anything I want. Nothing fancy, nothing complicated. Just a woman reacting to whatever she can stumble on on the internet. It's simple, it's amateurish, but that's the way I like it. Today I will be reacting to a film called Dragonfly. It stars Kevin Costner and that is all I know about it. I've seen the poster, but I have not researched the film as always. So. If you want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about, then great, hop on, and let's go. It's bad, Joe. They're evacuating the villages. The roads are washed out. We're hearing gunfire now. Can you, can you get the Calamar? They're putting us on the bus. I don't know where they're taking us. I'm just going to go on a limb here and say that she is in danger. Just a wild guess. Woo! Emily Darrow was not just a doctor. She died? Oh my god, I thought... My head went straight into, alright, you know, she went to a hospital and her husband's gonna meet her there. She died? She was a healer and a credit to the human race. There's no one alive. Then where is she? Where's her body? We are searching the shoreline and jungle now, but the bus is under 10 feet of water. It's over. Doing here. Wasn't this morning your wife's memorial service? Wait, he went straight to work? I'm concerned, Joe. So is the rest of the staff. Yeah, me too. Since Emily's death, you have been working around the clock, 24 hour shifts, I'm told, seven days a week. You need time off. You need to grieve. Hey, look who's here. Joe! Hey, you! <laughs> Funny, nice Joe. timing. We're just in time to finish the toast. Here, to Emily. To Emily? I don't know what the hell she saw in you, though. Lord knows I tried for years to talk her out of it. <laughs> I have no idea what she saw in me. Where are you, Joe? Nowhere. Hey, Doc. Hey, Miriam. <laughs> Sorry, I missed... Oh, Kathy Bates, I love her. I fell in love with Kathy Bates when she was the only nice person on Titanic aside from Jack. They needed somebody to sign for it. I didn't want to leave it out in the rain. It's a toy company in Texas. Hey, I saw through the kitchen window Big Bird didn't eat again. Should he go back to the vet? The vet said Big Bird will outlive us all. Hey, Joe, it's Hal. I forgot to tell you, we are going on that white water trip. You gotta come, Joe. Don't leave me alone with these guys. Some good Big Bird? I'm gonna go rafting with my old college chums. Um, that bird does not look like he's in good shape. Was she pregnant? I'm going because I have to, Joe. Because it's who I am. Oh, snap, she was pregnant. We are what we dedicated our lives oh, to. For God's sakes, Emily, you're pregnant. I'm needed there, Joe. And I'm going. Dragonflies were sort of her thing, you know, like personal totem. She even had this small birthmark on her shoulder that kind of looked like one. Said her grandfather had one, too. And you know, when she was alive, I had to scout for anything I could find with a dragonfly on it to buy her a present. Now I see him everywhere. Last night, a package arrived. She bought over the internet a mobile to put on the baby's crib of dragonflies. I think you're literally going buggy living in that house. What, you're living with a talking parrot who won't even speak to you? I never would. I only talked to Emily. She even taught it to announce her arrival when she came in the door. Honey. Oh. Honey, I'm home. You want to sell that thing, Joe? Hi, Joe. You? I was kind of hoping that you'd have our conversation seriously. I promised Emily I'd look in on her kids on the oncology ward while she was gone and never did. If it's for Emily, fine. Joe! Not something you want to hear in the middle of the night at a hospital. Joe! Nope. This is where I would be like, F this, fudge it, I'm out of here. I, I, I would check myself out and leave. Joe! Ah! Oh, oh my god. Joe! Joe, can't you hear me? Joe! Nothing. Go again. He's not responding. I said again. There's no pulse at all. Look, he's not coming back this time. Damn it, do it again. He's gone. 
Oh, please don't tell me the boy's gonna wake up. <laughs> He's got a rhythm. He's back. Jump on it. He's coming back. Yes, Jeffrey, yes. Okay, we need to calm down. I've said it before. This is why I don't apply as a mortician or an undertaker or anything related to corpses because they wake up. They wake up. I just came on. What happened? He woke up. That's hard, Jeffrey. His heart stopped more times than anyone in the history of medical science, I think. He'll come out of there with all kinds of stories about who he met in the tunnel and what they said. Nice. What is it? He hasn't stopped drawing him since he got out of the ICU yesterday. So what is it? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Just woke up thinking about it. I happened to be in the ICU yesterday, Jeffrey. I know. I saw you in there. We're not encouraged to discuss these things. Why not? This could be medical breakthroughs. There was a nun on the ward interviewing kids who'd had near-death experiences, Sister Madeline from Chaplain Services. Why a nun? Why not like a scientist? She never even talked to me. And I got the best near-death experiences of anyone. So what are we talking about here, Jeffrey? What we shouldn't. Do you know my name? You look like a... a William to me. I'm a Joe. Emily's Joe? I saw her yesterday, too. Oh. What do you mean, Jeffrey? You saw her? She was there, all around me, inside the rainbow. It was loud in the rainbow, like thunder in there. Tell me what, Jeffrey? Stop it. Leave the child alone. I don't know. Joe, can't you hear me? He's a cute little kid, and I like him, but he scares me. His wife, she wants me to tell him something. Those dragonflies? Gwen's a grief counselor, Joe. That's why I thought it might be a good idea for you two to meet. I've heard a lot of clients talk about the near-death experiences of their loved ones, how they wake up talking about being in a dark tunnel, moving toward the light. The tunnel is literal tunnel vision. How do you explain their ability to recall what everyone said around their deathbed after they were yeah. declared dead? Because I thought I heard him calling out for me. This kid. Yeah, how do you explain that? And when I introduced myself to him, he asked me if I was Emily's Joe. Said that Emily was trying to reach me. She was my ultimate partner. My best friend and lover. And I miss her beyond belief. I also know I'm never going to see her again. Not ever. Emily. Just admire your artwork. What is it? She said you should go there. Is she now using all of the children in this in this hospital? Ooh. She was a doctor here. She wants you to go there. Go where? I dreamed of her in the ambulance when I came here. Then I saw her picture in the hall. The lady doctor? In the picture of the Easter party with the cake on her nose. She wants you to go there. Go where, Ben? The rainbow. How do you know who I am? She showed me your face. Christine, the boy in 312. Ben? Yes. Did he know my wife? I don't think so. I think he just came in two weeks ago. Yeah, the third in a coma. Septic shock. Why, Joe? The first kid, he he calls my name. I follow him into the ICU where he flatlines, right? Dies. Yeah, and then opens his eyes. Then when he's resuscitated, says he saw me while he's floating around the ceiling. And then Emily, who he met in a rainbow, sent him back to tell me something. I had these conversations. Wait, aren't you the guy that doesn't believe in heaven? This yeah. isn't heaven. This is rainbows. Equally as crazy, but OK. She wants you to join her inside a rainbow i haven't gone halfway to heaven and she has no way of reaching me isn't there somewhere you can go i could go on a whitewater trip i'll take care of big bird get out of here go see whitewater and get your head straight oh river rafting is so fun it I, i've done it twice in my life it's, it's so fun you see 
That bird does not look alive. I'm sorry. No! No, no, no. Okay, no, we're not dealing with this. I, I, die they, they freak out just before they die oh big bird oh my god ah! what is going on with this film the bird it's sick i had to leave it i'm on my way to the hospital are you okay actually i'm not it was acting like it used to when she'd come home i'll take care of it i'll wake up the vet if i have to that's the kind of neighbor you want to have Jeffrey. He's downstairs getting blood work, but can I tell His you nurse, is she with him? Would you just listen to me for a minute, She please? said there was a nun on the ward interviewing kids about near-death experiences. Sister Madeline. Do you know where she is? The bird's okay. He will outlive us all. That weird picture you told me the kids were drawing? The wiggly cross? Is it the kids drawing it, Joe? Or is it you? Because if you did this, you need some help. It's all over the windows, too. Are you Sister Madeline? I'm a doctor. Head of, head of emergency services at Chicago Memorial Hospital. Joe Darrow. And my name's Joe. Yes, I need to talk to you. I need to know about your work. In an age when no one believes in miracles anymore, I was witnessing miracles every day. Being kids, they were more open to what happens on the other side. If we can create this world with what we imagine, why not the next? Did Emily believe? I believe she's trying to contact me. Two kids have seen her. One was flatlined, another in a coma. In the tunnel. In a rainbow. Yo, I'm on my way over to harvest a kidney, and I want you to protect it for me. I'll keep watching here. Oh, no. If he's going to be alone with that man, that man is going to wake up and scare the bejesus out of me. So now I am alert. Isn't he, like, in the morgue? Ah! Oh, my God. This man's not dead. Come on, Joe. It's flat as a pancake. Come on, let's move him out of here. He said you claimed a brain-dead organ donor spoke to you. Is that true? It was Emily. Oh, boy. Speaking through him. She's trying to reach me, and she's becoming desperate. There were no survivors. The Venezuelan government searched the jungle for almost a month. And never found her. Exactly. And that's why we're here tonight, because you never saw her body and never got closure. She's definitely dead, and that's her ghost. No, no, don't go back inside. Are you crazy? Yes. Is my pilot here? Well, that is me, uh, Victor. Como te va? The guys we are meeting, uh, they work with all the tribes in the area. They don't like outsiders. Yeah, that's evident. They wouldn't know, would they, which... Uh... Body was buried where? Mi esposa. Red Cross. Oh, la, la Cruz Roja. Cruz Roja. <laughs> Señor, you cannot go into the village. It is forbidden. Señor. What is she gonna do? 
jump? He has now been underwater for probably 20 minutes or something. You're not gonna tell me that he just magically survived this without any brain damage or anything, just coughing up water like, yeah, I'm fine. It's been over an hour, get up. She made it to the village. Yo, you cannot go to the village, stop! Is he just fine now? He can just run and there's nothing wrong with him after being underwater for that long? No. <laughs> See, this is what he gets for trespassing. He's not allowed there. Mia, mi esposa. Doctor, they could not save her body, but they save her soul. So she, she, um, I'm sorry, she gave birth, okay. She said dragonfly. Oh, okay. I don't know if Emily ever saw her, at least while she was of mind and body. And I don't know how the baby survived. Premature, so small and fragile in the middle of a jungle. That's a hell of a start to life. What I do know is that Emily made sure our child found her way into my arms. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, that was me watching Dragonfly with Kevin Costner. I don't know how to feel about this film on the one hand i liked it because it was a beautiful message you know his wife contacted him from beyond to lead him to their child whom i'm still not sure how survived but on the other hand it was like how did he survive in the water for that long then was unconscious for an hour according to the guide and then he just sprung up and started running like nothing was wrong with him mentally physically nothing and i was like no no that didn't do that do it for me overall i would give it like three out of well 3.5 out of five if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i put out new videos five days a week see you in the next video